Hey everybody, it's Tyler Austin from Midgard Strength and Conditioning. Thank you so much for watching. So in this super quick video, I want to bust a myth that has gained a lot of popularity over the last few years and really like the last decade. And that is the idea that a lifting belt or powerlifting belt, weightlifting belt, whatever you want to call it, is a crutch and it makes you weaker, particularly it will make your abs weaker. You see this myth all over the place now, uh, particularly over the internet. And it's gone to the point where I even have clients, part particularly new clients, ask me whether or not they should buy and use a belt because they heard somewhere that they, that they make you weaker. And this, this myth has absolutely no foundation in reality. And in fact, the opposite is true. Now, the reason why people think and say that a lifting belt will make you weaker is because they think that when you wear a, that when you wear a belt, um, it has the effect of making your abs not have to work as hard in order to lift the weight you're trying to lift. And the reality is the exact opposite is true. Now, when you wear a belt, a proper belt, and assuming that you're wearing it uh, to the proper tightness and in the proper position, of course, uh, it does have a passive supporting effect. So, you know, when you, that compression uh, produced by the, by the belt does provide just some passive support. The technical term for it is hoop tension. However, the primary benefit of the belt doesn't come from that. The benefit of a belt, or at least the primary benefit of a belt, comes from the fact that it gives something for your abs to push against when they contract. So think about it this way. If I told you to just push into the air, just out in front of you as hard as you can, right? Just push as hard as you can. You can push pretty hard, but there's really no way for you to push as hard as you can because there's nothing to push against. Now, if you got behind your car and started pushing or laid down on a bench and did a heavy bench press, you can push significantly harder because you have a resistance to push against. And the belt has that same exact effect for your abs when you're doing particularly something like a squat or a deadlift or, or whatever, because the belt provides resistance for your abs to push against. So when you, let's just say you're taking out a squat and you walk out of squat, take your big breath, your Valsalva maneuver, and then you brace down, right? The belt that's providing compression on your, on your, you know, on your gut, when, you're, when you contract and you, you, know, you brace, your abs now have a resistance, i.e. the belt, the push against, and it allows your abs to push a lot harder and contract a lot harder. And therefore, since, it's, since they're able to contract harder, they provide more support around your torso and help you lift more weight, particularly in things like the squat and the deadlift where maintaining a good tight torso is really, really important. So that's why the belt helps you that's why the belt allows you to lift more weight generally than not being a, than than lifting without a belt and as a result the belt is actually a very valuable uh piece of personal equipment and will actually make you stronger not weaker because a side effect of allowing your abs to contract harder is that they are contracting harder and therefore it will help make them stronger than not wearing a belt so don't believe this myth. It's a stupid myth. It's gone a lot of traction, but again, it has absolutely no foundation in reality. And the reality is belts are very valuable and they'll help make you stronger, not weaker. So hope you found this information helpful and informative. I'm Tyler Austin from Midgard Strength and Conditioning. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful, informative, and entertaining. If you did, be sure to like, subscribe, or follow depending on where you're watching this. You can follow me on Instagram at Tyler underscore Midgard Strength, and I am also on Zion. My two community pages are Midgard Strength and Conditioning and Gungnir Strategic. You can scan their respective codes here or search for them on the community search page. If you like my strength and conditioning content, check out my podcast, The Classical Strength Podcast, available on all major podcast platforms. Finally, if you would like to become stronger and healthier than you've ever been in your life, consider hiring me as your coach. I offer the most effective and personalized online coaching in the industry. So if that's something that would interest you, visit my website, MidgardStrength.com, or you can email me directly at Tyler at MidgardStrength.com. Thanks for watching.